g'day. Kind of stuffed up the start of this video. <laughs> Deleted a few things because I'm a drunk hillbilly. And uh, anyway, we're going to dial it together. I haven't made a video in a while. I'll probably have a rumble, to be honest. YouTube is terrible. Man, what a sight. I've never seen so many ads. And I grew up in the fucking 90s. Anyway, enjoy. I know I will. Cheers. Well, good morning. We got some work to do today. Haven't made a video in a while, so I thought I got a bit of work to do on this sassy old rig. Day. Oh, the van's fucked. I thought, why not bring you lot along? Now, before we get started, I've got something to tell you about these destroyers of timing chains. The 3.6 litre alloy tech. There's a secret to it. If you don't know, the reason it eats time and chains like a fat chick at a buffet is because of this fucking thing. Alright, at the back here, there's a little PCV valve. And this cocksucker gets blocked up. Then, too much pressure builds in, gets overheated, and fucking bang, there goes your time and chain. You're welcome, cunts. So, I broke this one. That's what we're going to do today. Um, replace these vacuum lines. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll see if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. And this is the fucking cocksucker right here. So, that blocks up. You can see I've cleaned this one not too long ago. Don't know if you can see down through there. But she's clear. And again, it's at the back here. Make sure you pull it out, check it, clean it. Otherwise, you're gonna build up pressure, it's gonna overheat, and you're gonna fuck your time and chain. And if you do wanna know how to clean this little fucker that causes all the problems, jam it in there. Get some of the good stuff. Just like that, and let it soak. Probably a few hours, and she'll be all nice and clean. Give it a shake every now and then. See if you can't get the worst of that shit out of it, and you'll be right to go. Now, if you're a drunk derelict like me and end up breaking your PCV um, hose, they're pretty easy to replace, pretty cheap. You just pull them out and then slap the new one back in. No fucking dramas, boys. And you're going to have to excuse me. I am hungover as shit. Hit the beers pretty hard last night. So forgive me if I fuck up my words. Yeah, see, you just slide them on, and it really is as simple as that. Made in Mexico. Fuck me, I want some tacos right now. That'd soothe the hangover. Oh. Anyway, it's easy. Slip it back on. Put this cocksucker back in. Don't use Loctite. Some idiots put Loctite on it. There's no need. All right, she will stay in there. It feels a bit loose, but trust me, it's not going anywhere. All right, see, look at that. Isn't that right, boy? Not going anywhere. See? All right, I'm gonna head into town and pick up some sea foam. See if we can't get this old Rodeo out of smoke. I'll be back. So now, we've been to town, got our sea foam. We've got to take the plastic off, shoot this directly into the inlet, and then see if we can't smoke this bitch up. All right, I've got my kid in the car holding the throttle for me. And we're just squirting this straight into the throttle. Throttle body. Alright. The instructions are on the can if you get lost. We're going to see if we can't make this bitch smoke. <laughs> see? See? 
make sure you get that pipe all the way in so it works right then we give it 10 minutes to sit and then we'll fire it up and see if it cheaches all right we got it back on don't be a dingbat and only put the pipe half on make sure it's on all the way around or you'll dust your engine just like i did <laughs> she's still going though time to use the patented bill hilly camera mount Ooh, that looks fancy let's line it up see if she cheaches right. and down you go whole thing you reckon I reckon fuck yeah Alright, it's been 10 minutes, let's fire it up. Well, I haven't noticed any difference just yet, but we'll give it a couple of days and see how it all goes. Still hearing some valve clicking. She's an old motor. She's got 270 thou on the clock, but uh, she's had a hard life. I mean, I haven't treated her the best. She's a dirty old whore. You can see I've hillbillied up vacuum lines and all sorts of good stuff. But yeah, we'll give it a couple of days and I'll maybe do a short review. See how it goes. Now the missus is going to go drive it aggressively, according to the can anyway. Now I'm going to have some hair at the dog, fight this fucking hangover. Cheers for watching, uh, subscribe for more, uh, and all that good stuff. All right, take it easy, guys. Cheers. Well, g'day. Just mucking around, checking oil. I was about to give myself a hand job. Beers for binging, not whinging. <sighs> so Bill Hilly's recommendation for you is to just shut the fuck up and drink. <sighs> that one's for you, my American brothers. You've lost a good friend. You've had to take it out into the pasture and shoot it. But move on. It's time to move on. Don't shame yourselves. May I suggest trying some Aussie beers? I'm sure you guys have access to them over there. Just stay away from that Foster's garbage. No one fucking drinks that shit. Not even this mullet. And so onward, my American brothers. Good luck finding yourselves a new beer.
and here's a picture of my cock to celebrate. Cheers.